Hey guys, so this is my first YouTube video that I'm going to be putting up online. Uh, I want to just give a brief uh, walkthrough to solve some questions uh, to do with the shaft fatigue using uh, concentration factors and of course alternating loading. Uh, I think there's some mid loading, mid range loading questions as well. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show how that's done and uh, figure out how to calculate safety factors for uh, static and fatigue loading. Alright guys, so here we have our first question. It has to do with a rotating beam uh, and the question is uh, can we rotate it 500 times and make it fail due to fatigue without making it yield first? So we're gonna obviously have to be adding, putting a stress on that uh, you know is over the endurance limit. However, it has to still be under the yield stress. So we're gonna calculate that and see if it will be below or above the yield stress. So uh, let's go here to paint and uh, write down the things that we know first. So we have our ultimate tensile strength, which is equal to 150 ksi. Our yield strength, which is equal to 135 ksi. Um, and so, in order to figure out what our fatigue strength required uh, to make this thing break at 500 cycles is by using an equation that relates the yield strength to the number of cycles to failure. So as we see here, um, we have this equation using the fatigue strength. Um, which is uh, calculated based on your ultimate tensile strength, your number of cycles to failure, and our uh, fatigue strength factor, which is actually uh, read off a chart um, out of Shigley. So this is figure 618. Um, but uh, anyways, this equation right here is only useful, or should be used, between the limits of 1 cycle and 1,000 cycles. So, um, just reading off the chart, uh, with our ultimate tensile strength 150 ksi, we see that F is equal to 0.799, so this is just a fraction, there's no units. Uh, so if we just plug all of this in, we can see that our fatigue strength needs to be 150 ksi times number of cycles, which is 500 to the power of log of 0.799. So we can see that uh, the well, we just calculated our fatigue strength is actually less than our yield strength. Um, so that is sort of what, that was what the question was asking is can we make this thing break in 500 cycles without uh, going up to the yield strength? So I mean uh, even we can actually calculate how many cycles um, so, uh, that we can rotate this thing to make it break such that uh, the fatigue strength is actually equal to our yield strength. So rearranging this equation here, uh, we can solve for the number of cycles. So that would be n is equal to, let's just say it's equal to uh, SF divided by SUT to the power of, was it 3 divided by log F? Uh, so this is equal to, um, so in this case we're actually setting SF to be equal to SY, so that's 135 divided by 150 to the power of 3 divided by log 0.7799. Hey guys, well sorry for the bad quality and all, but uh, anyways that was a pretty simple question and uh, you know, I got another one coming up here soon, and it's a lot longer. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, let me know, and uh, I'm sure things will get better in the future here coming. So there you go.